Um, ever since uh, the invention of the microscope, it's become apparent that the nervous system isn't just a big gelatinous mass, but it's actually composed of billions of tiny cells called neurons. And each of these neurons uh, can have up to 100,000 or even more connections with other neurons in the brain. Now, you can't see them unless you look in the microscope, and you can't tell that they're connected unless you, that they, they form these little connections unless you have a very powerful microscope. But with the advent of this kind of technology, we've been able to see that the brain actually consists of all these uh, many, many little cells. So what they do is uh, each one of them receives inputs from many others, thousands or hundreds of thousands in some cases, and combines them in some fairly simple way, we think, to, uh, to then uh, decide itself whether or not it should send out a signal to the neurons that it's connected with. And so the idea emerges from this that uh, all of our mental life, all of our cognitive activity, really reflects uh, the interactions among these very simple processing units. Uh, 